down here at the 6 o'clock merry-go-round. It is Zest. And over here, around 2 o'clock for S, or rather for uh, Chenner Green Wings, it's SOS. He wants to uh, see if the last game's a photon cannon rush. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it does not look like it at all. Pretty tough to pull off on merry go but maybe, um, you know, he means for later on when we have another map where it's more appropriate. Yeah. If SOS lets it get there. <laughs> Which, I don't know. Honestly, it doesn't look like he will. He's not planning on it. I mean, Zest did the same build twice in a row, and it got countered both times. Like, what is his answer here for game three? If he didn't have a new idea for game number two, what is it for game three? I mean, I guess he felt confident with that build on two-player maps, but... It's a good question. No? Gates are going down. And it's going to be a bit of time here before I find out the uh, the gas allocation these two decide to go for. Uh, I'm feeling like we're going to see mirrors again uh, from what we've seen in the past. I don't think... Uh, There'll be any variation. Zest does that same rally probe and then sends the scout. Whereas SOS uh, gets his gas up. We'll also be scouting, though. Stakes are high here. There's a lot of WCS points on the line, plus all that money. Money. And you know how much SOS loves his money. Yeah. His name isn't dollar sign or dollar sign for a reason. His name is dollar sign or dollar sign for a reason. I was about to say, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like it's not. He just accidentally spelled it on his keyboard. <laughs> okay. Double gas for Zest. Double gas for SOS this time. You can see, uh, watch that gas at the top right. It's about, um, you know, eight different between these two. So not a huge difference. It's starting to grow, though, as uh, you can see that Zest is going six gas miners, whereas SOS goes four, which means he will have a faster second gateway just like we've seen before. And again, mirror builds from these two as expected. See if Zest decides to go for uh, a, you know, a Twilight Council again. Possibly some Templar tech. Okay, no rust Stargates or anything like that. Mothership, of course, coming out here. Yeah. Here comes the first scout. Yeah, this is the big thing. You got to get rid of the scout first. Um, if you're not going to rush anything like a Stargate, you want to make sure you get the scout out first and then put down your tech. So here's the most before he's going to push this guy out. And the Zest style, he should probably put his tech down right it's away. Uh, yeah, there it is. Twilight, Twilight Council for the uh, third time in a row. Again, yeah. Now Zest did get a scout off on SOS. There wasn't anything to see besides the second gate, but he did see that. And uh, left with his probe. His probe escaped. This could become important later. It has, it has the watchtower right now, which is going to spot this Mothership core move out. So he might be able to get a few pot shots off on that. This is a really important move here. That's something that SOS was not able to do since his probe died. He's actually going to run by. He really wants to get in there and get a scout off. I don't know if this is going to work, though. He gets two gates. That's too risky. Yeah. SOS is adding a third gate now. Going to go up to three gates just in the defense, it looks like, for now. Yeah. Total blind third gate. Maybe his coach is just like, listen, he's going to do it again. You need to be ready. Just be ready to totally shut it down. Look at this. Already ready to deny the leadership core. We've seen Zest consistently use this for scouting, and SOS has picked up on it. Will he see the third gate? He does. And he will need to recall. He wants a kill, but he's not going to get it. And he does get the recall. So low on health, so low on energy now. Zest setting up to still go, in, go forward with the attack. Yeah, but again, these stalkers come out quicker when you don't go for Blink, and Blink is not even halfway done. It looks oh, like yeah. SOS wants to go really aggressive. And he has a forward pile, and I didn't even realize. Yeah, he's really just, he's not even just doing this defensively. He's actually going to be trying to, to race the clock here. And you know, with that recall, there's going to be no energy on this mother support. It's going to be so much harder to defend this. And it's so low, too. It's not even going to be able to tank a whole lot. Yeah. SOS just has to group up here. He can't lose his mothership core here. That would be huge. Need to get all of his units together. Yeah, having that high ground advantage here for Zest is really important because if SOS can't make this work, he needs to drop a Nexus. I think he's going to drop one right now. He can't make this work anymore, and Blink is about to finish. He's got to realize that. Yeah, he's going to try to do a Sentry Contain here, but that's not going to work either with Blink. Uh-oh. 
Oh, this is about to get really weird. Yeah. SOS is hiding his probe. He wants to make that Nexus. Nice catch by Zest on that Stalker. Blink is about to finish. All right, Blink is done. He's going to go for it. Going down here to attack. Target some other ship core first. Now should Blink his Stalkers back. Very nicely done. Very good micro here. The force field is going to force a big Blink, I think. He'll probably just Blink all those back in. Going to cost him if he doesn't. And there he goes. And now, actually, with the shield recharging a little bit, he can go on for a chase. He does have that forward warping point over to the top left of the map as well, where you can actually get some reinforcements. And this pylon actually lives. Not for uh, very much longer, I suppose, but still, yeah. that was scary. SOS knows he needs that robotics facility for defense, throws it down right away. He needs it yesterday. This is starting to look really scary uh -oh. for him. He's going to lose another stalker here. Yeah, look at SOS's face. He knows his number may be up on this, and he's going to go for a counterattack. Zest's Mothership Core, though, definitely kept at home and is about to have enough energy. Probe's coming off the line here. He knows he needs them. That Nexus is not surviving. All right, he needs to snipe that Mothership Core, but no, Zest is on top of it, pulls it back just in time, and is going to be able to keep his Nexus alive. This Nexus, on the other hand, will likely have to be canceled. A lot of lost mining time on these probes. Oh, he gets the Stalker up, oh. and now he can bleak forward, and he's going to be able to squeeze through the gap. And that should be enough to push his way through and actually end this game. Looks like it will be. Now he's going to start that Blake Micro down the ramp here. And any second here, he can just Blake forward and kill the rest of this. GG. GG. SOS, he knows it's over. He types it out. And Zest trying to claw his way back. Trying to show that best is the Zest in fact here. <laughs> Takes a manly sip of water, chomps on that water. He looks really satisfied with that win. That was uh, some really good decision making there on the fly. And uh, SOS trying to change things up, trying to race the clock there. Didn't quite work out for him. They just couldn't really break up that ramp. A little bit of indecision out of him. So we're in game four, which was Nimbus, am I mistaken? Or am yeah, I, I think it's Nimbus and then Foxtrot. Yeah. All right, this is tense. Tensions are high here. SOS still needs just one more win. He was able to do that. He's on his way to making more and more dollars.